Hello, so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my very first Aspinall of London bag and I'm super excited. Um, so um, I did get the Mayfair bag in the biggest size in cloud, which is like a light gray and the deep shine croc. And if you're curious to see like a what fits or what the bag looks on, I'll be doing that in a different video. So check my channel, probably the next video I do or the video after that, I'll be doing that video. But this is just the unboxing. So here's the box it came in and I can already see the tissue paper says Aspinall on it, which is really cute. So right off the bat, I will say it did not come in a box, which I've seen in other videos, the bags come in a box, which that's kind of interesting, but it did, like I said, it has a bunch of paper, but no box. So anyways, um, here's what the dust bag looks like. It's really cute. smells really good the leather does and here's what the bag looks like it is so cute wow it is very 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 cute so like I mentioned this is the deep shine um croc in cloud which it is um it's not actually the patent it does look shiny but it's not actually the patent version and if you can see because this bag was not shipped in a box it is a little bit wonky on the handle right there which um is not a huge deal i think yeah okay you can just kind of push it over but I definitely think that this should have been shipped in like a box. But anyways, so here's what the class looks like. Really pretty. It just says Aspinall of London right there. And it's kind of got these little gussets. It looks like inside it has the little crossbody strap. This color is really nice. This deep shine cloud. And then just to put it back in like that, it's pretty easy to open and close. And then on the back, it does say Hospital of London and it has a little, little pocket right there with a little magnet on the inside. And it does have four feet on the bottom. It's really, really pretty, really cute. <clears throat> Just kind of looking it over. I'm very um, impressed by the quality. It is like really pretty. Like I said, this is my first ever bag that I've ever seen from this brand. Um, never had anything or seen anything in person from this brand before. It does have a little plastic over the lock. <coughs> So I'll just kind of show like a little overview of the inside, but if you want me to, if you want to see me like put things inside and try the bag on, I'll be doing all that in another video. So it's got a little pocket at the front here, and then of course the middle, and a little back pocket with a little like mirror thing. 
And then it has, of course, the little card. Um, and then this has plastic protector on it. The zipper is very smooth. I um, purchased this bag because I saw um, like different, like I think it was um, Kate Middleton and maybe even like Pippa or something. I don't know, different members of like the royal family carrying this bag. And I thought it was just so pretty. It's like very elegant and timeless and i was just like wow that's so gorgeous i did purchase this directly from the aspinall of london website and they were having um a, like a the start of their black friday sale so it does have like a little a right there the strap is adjustable. Let's see, it has a lot of different um, adjustability right there. A lot of different holes. <coughs> it has little, <clears throat> excuse me, a little D rings right there, or little hooks on the top to put the crossbody. The hardware is very, very pretty. Very light gold. So it really easily just clips on. Um, I know that there's a lot of videos on the Mini Mayfair on YouTube, but there's not as many videos on the standard Mayfair, like the biggest size. So I wanted to definitely um, you know, put a video in case anybody was looking at the standard size, which I really like. I think it just gives you a little bit more room. Um, I have a hard time doing like the little tiny bags because I carry like a decent amount. So um, I don't know. I would definitely, you know, invest in the Midi May Mayfair because I think it's really cute, but it definitely would not be an everyday bag for me. I don't know if you can see on the handle how it is bent right there. It's kind of hard to see because it's right there. You might not be able to see it on video, but it should be. I can kind of push it over, but yeah. Anyways, um, not a huge deal, but Still, these are pretty, these bags are definitely pretty expensive. Um, it is definitely not a lightweight bag. I wouldn't say it's like terribly heavy or anything, but it's got, definitely has some weight to it, which, you know, it's a leather bag, so that's understandable, but it is a little heavier than I thought it was gonna be. The inside material is really nice. Um, it's like a, kind of like a, <clears throat> a satiny-ish looking textured lining. The quality on the inside lining seems really nice. I like that it has like some organization I really like this color a whole lot too. I think it's will like go with a whole lot and um, like you can use this, I feel like throughout the year for any season, no matter if it's, you know, spring or summer, winter, or fall, I feel like this kind of lighter gray will go with pretty much all seasons. It's, 
I wouldn't even say it's that light of a gray. It's kind of like a, well, yeah, I mean, it's a light gray, but a little bit light to medium in my opinion. So overall, I'm really impressed um, besides the fact that it didn't come in a box and I've seen other people that have unboxed this. I've seen theirs come in a box and the fact that it was, you know, it came in the dust bag, but it was really just jammed in this without, it does have paper, but there's, yeah, it, you know, obviously was kind of banging around in there during shipping, obviously, but um, it definitely would have been nice to have some more protection. Um, I'm just kind of looking at the different... <clears throat> different um on the hardware when i did purchase this specific color on the website this was uh the last bag they said was in stock and i am seeing kind of like right in there that right in there if you can see the stitching looks different and this side is kind of like smooth and down you can see right there and then when you go to this side it's kind of um a little bit up. I'm really glad I purchased this bag at 20% off because um, just kind of looking at it like closer inspection um, this you're not at all going to be able to see I don't think but through here not the hardware but above on the handles it's kind of I don't know how to describe it <clears throat> It's what I'm talking about is above the hardware, right on the leather, above there on all four sides. It's kind of like not, um, how would I say? Um, it's kind of like rough or something. I don't know how to describe it. And then I see, um, Right, let's see, there's like, uh, let me see if I can show you. There's different like scratches. Um, can you see that m black mark right there? Right there. Those are, I noticed along the top, it's not just right there, it's in multiple different places along the top. Normally I'm not very picky and I'm still gonna keep the bag and these type of things don't bother me that much. But since this is the first, my first bag from this brand, um, a lot along the lock, there is another black mark. You may or may not be able to see that. Let me see. Right, it's right there. And it's kind of like in the bag. Hmm. This may have been like, since it was the last bag, it may have been like a display or something. I don't know. Does this have plastic over it? Yeah, okay, so this is, these both have plastic. I took the plastic off of this. But I definitely see like multiple, um, <clears throat> just all over the bag, like little, very faint marks and nicks. Again, not a huge 
feel just um, kind of looking, you know, this is me being picky. It's a beautiful bag, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that it's not, but it's a beautiful bag. But um, just if somebody's out there watching a review, some people might kind of care about these things. I'm definitely seeing um, a bunch of little black marks that are very, very small all over the, not all over, but in multiple different areas. It's just going to be really hard to see on camera. But like I said, um, when I purchased this bag, it said one left in stock. And so I, I really wanted this color, so I went, I went ahead and purchased it. And so, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm thinking that this could have either been a display or a return, possibly. I don't, I'm not sure because I don't know, but um, I would think that maybe there's a possibility um, of that. I would say the most... Um, visible of the marks is right above the clasp. Um, it's a little black mark um, right in there. But it's a really, really beautiful bag. The craftsmanship is, looks, you know, very pretty, very nice. I'm really impressed by, you know, just how gorgeous it is in person. Um, I've seen plenty of videos, but now that I see it in person, I'm like, wow, this is, this is really beautiful and so elegant and classy. It's just like very, just like, I don't know. It's just so like, such like a classic style. I feel like I will definitely have this and wear this for a really long time. Um... So anyways, if you want to see, like I said, another video on this, what fits and what it looks like on and stuff, um, feel free to check my channel because I will be uploading that because I didn't really see a whole lot of videos on this side. There are size, sorry, there are some um, on YouTube, but um, just like not a whole lot. The main ones I was seeing was on the mini. So, um, thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And like I said, I really love this bag a whole lot. I'm super impressed by the quality um, and the craftsmanship. And I will probably check out another bag from this brand in the future. Um, and maybe in a different color. Um, if I carry this and I like it, which I'm sure I will because it's gorgeous. And I feel like it's a really great size. I feel like it's not too big, not too small. Um, it's definitely very roomy in there. But I don't feel like it looks... You know, I was worried it was going to come and look like a little mini briefcase. Or a, a, a too big of a briefcase. But I, I feel like it's a fantastic size. Um, I don't feel like... Looking at it in the video, I feel like it doesn't look at all like the large size. I feel like it looks very like, like kind of petite and scaled down, but maybe then again, it's just cause I don't carry very small handbags. So this looks a little bit on the smaller size to me. But yeah, anyways, like I said, thank you so much for watching. And before I keep ramble, rambling on, I'm going to go ahead and end this. But I'm excited to do a what fits in this and also like a video with mod shots. So be on the lookout for that. And overall, besides the little, um, you know, not coming in a box and the handle being a little misshapen and a couple little like microscopic things that I saw on here, I... You know, I haven't used it yet, but I think that I would probably recommend this if I had to guess because it is so beautiful. But yeah, so have a great day.